Hi, I'm Justin Langseth, founder of Zoom Data. I'll be demonstrating today a login attempt cybersecurity data set visualized in Zoom Data in a four-structed graph. What we see in this visualization is login attempts from users who are represented in black circles trying to log in to servers which are represented in blue squares. <clears throat> we can see from this overall pattern a couple interesting things. We can see kind of normal login activity if I zoom in to one of these pinwheel shaped patterns, we can see typical pattern is many users all represented by these circles all connecting to this uh, single square server. So we see that kind of pattern around the edges of this visualization where there's users and the number of login attempts uh, turns into the size of the circle uh, and also the uh, width of the line. So you can see some visual patterns of more frequent and less frequent uh, clients logging into servers. Pretty much around the edge of this diagram, we can see that there's groups of users, maybe representing individual departments, all connecting to um, mainly one uh, individual server. But if we highlight some of these users here in the middle, we can see that there are users who connect to uh, multiple servers uh, in various uh, different ways. Uh, visually, what is really interesting here are the things that look different. And we can see on the edges here on the left-hand side, a couple of patterns that visually look very different from the rest of the uh, graph can see that most of the login attempts are multiple users going into a single server. You can see here in the bottom left corner an interesting pattern, which is kind of the inverse of that. We see a single user in the center here log logging in or attempting to log into lots of different servers. And interestingly, these servers are not being logged into by other users. So it seems like this user perhaps, let's look here, it's U66, is attempting to connect to servers that other people are not even trying to connect to at all. And this user is also not really trying to connect to the more normal servers. So that's an interesting pattern that might indicate that this uh, user is attempting to uh, uh, attack these various servers. We kind of look also at another unusual pattern. We see this uh, other pinwheel here, which it's very, uh, a lot of users connecting to a single server, but it's very infrequent connections. We can see because the dots are small and we can see <clears throat> because the lines are thin. And if we highlight this, we can see that this server is actually a, a named TGT, and it's a Kerberos ticket generation server. And since Kerberos tickets are uh, generated once a day or some time frame like that, uh, these clients don't need to connect very frequently to this um, server. Also, interestingly, that's the only uh, other server that this user 66 is connecting to that's not one of the, um, uh, that is a server that other people are also connecting to. It seems like there's been a pattern where user 66 went to get a Kerberos ticket and is using that ticket to attempt to log into all these other uh, servers. We see some other interesting patterns here. Uh, we see these uh, disconnected uh, set here where there's a, a server and four users interacting with just that server, but these users are not interacting with any other servers and there's no other users interacting with this server. It's kind of an interesting uh, thing to look into and if we highlight it, we can see that Looks like it's a network service and local service uh, type uh, situation. So it's maybe the disconnected process doing something, but anytime there's like little processes in the corner that are not connected to anything else, it's usually interesting to um, explore and understand what that is. And then in the middle of the visualization, we see kind of a, a cluster of lots of stuff. And these are probably the more frequent servers, uh, more frequent users, maybe it's systems administrators. Uh, and these are the more frequent uh, servers that are kind of connected to by large uh, different groups of users. Maybe these are centralized or non-departmental servers that are uh, common, more commonly connected to. So just by visually exploring this visual, we've been able to kind of find some interesting patterns. On the uh, left-hand side here, we have the ability to filter on various uh, criteria to filter down this graph. The first we can do is look at which of these attempts actually generated cybersecurity alerts. So if I turn on this true filter here, we can see it filters out all the activity that has not been uh, flagged as suspicious by our cybersecurity system and has left us with uh, one pattern which we already had visually identified, which is user 66 situation. Uh, but also uh, this pattern here in the middle where there seems to be one user, it's the anonymous login user, okay, kind of makes some sense. <clears throat> so this anonymous login user seems to be connecting to lots of different um, things and these uh, have been flagged as something we might wanna look into in more detail. So until you kind of filter that out, that was probably hidden amongst the rest of the kind of noise at the center of this visualization nucleus. But then we were able to filter out and look at the ones that had really generated these alerts. We can kind of narrow in on the pattern that's especially interesting and explore that in more detail. We can also filter on any other aspect of the data set and see how the graph responds. We can look at, for example, 
um, only uh, log on requests versus log on or log off for other requests. We could look at um, only um, requests to this TGS uh, system, probably something also revolving Kerberos uh, ticket generation. You can see again a much more uh, sparse pattern of connections with lots of smaller uh, connections, except for this, uh, this server up here, which has more frequent uh, connections. So it might be interesting to explore that in more detail. And then we can also look at the types of authentication. Looks like here mostly the authentications are either unknown or Kerberos type, but there's also some NTLM and other types of things. So if we wanted to kind of narrow down to um, the NTLM data, we could look at, uh, look at it in that manner. And of course, you can also combine different filters together. So maybe I want to look at um, the logon activity uh, that is also NTLM uh, activity. So we can see that combination here. And then we can also use the search capability to see, well, let me look for that user 66, maybe or really anything in the data, I can just type in a uh, partial match on. I can see the matches for U66. And here's the one that I was kind of looking for here, user 66. So I can apply that uh, filter here. And now I'm looking at the combination of user 66 log on activity through NTLM. So I can see this now smaller pattern, which just represents this, this user's uh, Login attempts to that, uh, that particular vector. So that's been a uh, visualization of Zoom data showing uh, cybersecurity data from logon attempts of various kinds throughout an organization, visualized in a uh, force directed graph uh, visualization, and then we filtered it by various aspects and kind of looked at interesting patterns. Thank you.